IRDS is well known as an heterogeneous syndrome made, made of different distinct phenotypes, different um, clinical contexts and conditions. So we, we need to recognize this and to adapt the mechanical ventilation, the mechanical support, every therapy to the individual patient conditions. This means, for example, knowing the size of the lung that should be ventilated in order to um, select the optimal tidal volume, knowing if the lung is recruitable and uh, how much of the lung can be recruited in order to optimize the, le the level of PEEP. This can be true for all, actually, the parameters that are set on the ventilator. Modern technology allows us to have this information at the bedside. So I think this is a, is a really great moment because we have, we have now the possibility to, um, to make individual measurement to tailor the treatment to the single patients. Of course, uh, all of this is a prerequisite. The clinician must recognize RDS. I, I, I say so because we know now that RDS is still under-recognized. So we must raise awareness on the syndrome of the importance of diagnosing RDS. And uh, this is important because we can uh, choose the right treatment, the right ventilation in order to decrease the ventilator induced lung injury and uh, we, this is probably the, the only way, at least for now, we can go if we want to improve survival. So in the individualization and treatment is extremely important, is based of course on the recogn recognition of the syndrome, and on the recognition of the severity of the syndrome, is made of standardization of protocol or medical approach is made also or individualization of mechanical ventilation which requires a deep knowledge of physiology behind mechanical ventilation.